politically jnu was very sensitive peacefully you defend every issue in this kind of learning is not possible in any other university people will talk people will give bash because when you can't attract the talent when you can't retain the talent you are bound to go down the lane of being in jnu we were actually fortunate pura desh aaj jnu ki taraf ummeed hai No, that time JNU was actually a great campus. So we had seniors like uh, Nirmala Sitharaman, then uh, Prabhakar Parkala. They actually you can name them. Actually, they are all big figures now. Sitharaman Ichori used to visit our campus to give lectures. JNU is not like you no, know, you sit in a classroom and learn. It's actually every minute you are learning something. So after dinner, every night we used to have a speaker. It could be a political head. It could be anybody. so all these people used to come and they give, used to interact with us they used to give their ideas huh the way i am giving you now so this kind of interaction was there so we used to sit in those after dinner we used to have this kind of sessions with people they could be our seniors i mean uh, seniors who left jnu and they have learned something so they come back they used to give us what is actually you see then uh, there were some issue based debates politically jnu was very sensitive they were reacting to each and every development around the world so actually it was like you know a global university you can say they were not silent to what is happening in india alone but they were reacting even to those global events those days so cold war then post cold war era all these things actually we have seen them we have learned them not from merely our uh, lectures you know in our classrooms but also from people who were involved in it so that way i mean jnu had that benefit of like now attracting the greatest talent being in delhi it was actually different i mean uh, that time i mean of course uh, left domination was there among students but uh, i mean we were actually free thinkers i mean uh, did not restrict ourselves to one ideology we thought i mean you should open to all ideologies and learn the best kids as the worst in both of them so that was actually an advantages way of looking at issues so we were in that group but at the same time when we finish everything i mean uh, like my closest friends are actually from left party circle okay but we used to discuss it was a friendly atmosphere not like i mean uh, the way they do it now in jnu you know? it's sometimes sad actually to see that kind of thing because it was a more mature discussion it was a great atmosphere actually this gives you more liberty to see and say what you want and learn i mean what is the stand of the other person so you know both sides of the story when you go out actually you know this is one thing this is other thing this kind of experience i mean this kind of learning is not possible in any other university that's not that much i can tell you because from newsroom i mean from classroom what you can learn maximum you can learn i mean theories you can learn examples but this is more interactive you are interacting with each and every person yeah. despite his religion race country anything i mean all global students were there so you are seeing everything i mean uh, particularly during mandela's those days no before mandela was released this discussion was taking place so that time i mean uh, many people actually came they were giving this perspective as to why mandela should be released and why india was actually no standing behind him that was during 1994 you are talking about yeah, yeah. 90s 1990s 88 or 87 all these things so tiananmen square china's tiananmen square incident see uh, tiananmen square incident was actually a landmark in china china's history okay so some students of beijing university who were progressive minded uh, they were opposing the government government policies okay they wanted more freedom and other things so what happened i mean they were all threatened and bulldozers were rolled into the camp i mean roads to to threaten them because they were all standing there so, so i think some 
because some people actually faced hardships. They were beaten up and uh, most of them were detained. So it was actually a momentous momentum for students in China. Most of them actually left China. They flee actually. They fled actually China to settle in different countries. So that's, I mean, immediately, it actually many students in JNU reacted to that. So there was a debate because mainly there were leftist students who were supporting China. They were trying to explain. There were students like you know, others who were questioning China's stand. So China may not be there, but everything was discussed within this thing. So some, uh, sometimes, I mean, people were all of a sudden in uh, general meetings also, they stood up and stood in silence for those who were killed in Tiananmen Square. So that was the time. But our reaction was not in terms of um, protest. We reacted standing in silence for those who were killed in Tiananmen Square. That itself is enough. You are not accepting certain things. So that was the spirit of JNU. You react to that and you react in a non-violent way. You react in a matured way. So you, when, what Gandhi has taught us was only this. Thing. You protest, but protest within the confines of law. So that's what we used to do. So we, I mean, uh, you will never see JNU students, I mean, uh, doing, I mean, uh, street violence. We used to go. We used to take a bus, stay, go to the, when Rajpath or wherever, and we used to walk silently. So it, uh, many times, I mean, it reflected. Mm -hmm. So this is the kind of, like, you know, movement, student movement, which should be non-violent unlike others. So that is where you make a difference compared with others. So I mean that quality of protests were yeah, very high. Very high. high. People will talk, people will give bashan. People will say slogans. Okay. But all I mean you at the same time you are part of the country, you are you feel the responsibility. It's not that I mean you are merely criticizing somebody. No, you feel the responsibility. What India should do. So we used to think, okay, India as a global player, what do we should do? So this kind of maturity levels you can reach only in universities which had that perspective. So in JNU, I mean, being in JNU, we were actually fortunate enough to have that kind of global perspective. So that, I mean, actually changed everybody's thinking. I mean, I cannot think only in terms of like, no, one region, one language only. Because these are all, I mean, we see each and every issue we see. What is positive side? What is negative side? What is actually in terms of national interest? Being students of international relations, first thing that we think about was national interest. So this cannot be ignored. Because after all, we should stand as a nation. National building is a, I mean, a task that was taken by our founders of our democracy. We have to continue that. Okay. So this kind of perspective you get. You get an overall perspective. Okay. So now what happens? I mean you peacefully you defend every issue. So now I mean uh, recently I mean what happened was actually it is like now it is coming down. I mean it's narrowing actually. So sometimes you feel bad because I haven't seen I haven't gone to JNU for quite some time. So I don't know what's happened. Sometimes you see it in news and then you feel bad. Because when you can't attract the talent, when you can't retain the talent, you are bound to go down the lane of history. Okay, that happened. Uh, that's all I can say because the, it's my alma mater and I should not <laughs> speak about it. But I mean, uh, some politically, I mean, uh, opposing views will al were always there. But I felt bad when violence took place. And the violence, I don't think it would have been an insider's role. But when outsiders come and do that violence, then it becomes a task. Because I still remember, I mean, uh, in 84 when Indira Gandhi was killed, we were actually guarding our boundaries. Both, you know, Jaini was, I mean, uh, teachers and students. Together we were taking rounds in the night because everybody was scared. We were taking rounds, we were stopping, I mean, those who wanted to enter JNU campus 
okay with the bad intentions so those were the days when we actually reacted to certain developments we knew that i mean they were not good so that's what i mean uh, violence should be stopped but you cannot do that always okay particularly this motivated violence uh, you cannot even expect that it would take place so perhaps that could have led to this kind of uh fightings yeah. that were taking place in hostels but i mean uh, we remember jain was a place where there was a great chance of like learning living and uh, developing your like you know, intellectual capabilities yeah.